the briefing today, the La Crosse County Health Department also revealed how contact tracing works should someone test positive for COVID-19. News 19's Marcus Arswold is here to explain that process. Marcus. Contact tracing is crucial to the community because it identifies and notifies anyone if they were within six feet of someone who has posted te tested positive for the virus. First, the health department goes through a lengthy interview with the COVID-19 positive patient. They'll ask who they were in close contact with 48 hours prior to system symptom development. Then public health nurses call all of those close contacts and encourage 14 day quarantine and continue monitoring them as if it was one of their own friends. These are humans, these are friends and neighbors and, and um, perhaps coworkers who um, have been in contact with us and we've, um, we've connected with them in a way that is um, important during a time um, that they are not feeling well. And, um, and in, it means that we can assure um, that we are not uh, allowing the disease to spread to others. The nurses and health educators say they try to give the infected patients primary care physicians time to let them know if they're positive, but in order to try and limit the spread as much as possible, sometimes they are that notifying call. And Scott Rumbalski says this can be tough, but that their swift work has helped keep the lacrosse community spread down to that 29 number. Thanks, Marcus. The health department asks that you, uh, if you, uh, that if uh, you are someone they are trying to contact, you should definitely answer the phone. They will always leave voicemails for those who have decided not to answer numbers or calls from unknown numbers.